All right, hello! So, I've heard that everyone has been having quite a bit of trouble uh, with our most recent addition to Sorties, which is Lua Rescue. So, I'm gonna do it and show, show everyone where the shortcuts are, because most people don't know. Uh, I had to do a refresher myself on them, because I hadn't done the moon in so long prior to these being reintroduced to Sorties. So, before we get started... If you're having trouble with this, I would very much suggest you equip your Lizette, if you don't already have it equipped, and then make some air support charges. You should already have these as a blueprint. Uh, they're generally kind of cheap, like 10 of them for this is like pretty, it's pretty a drop in the bucket in the grand scheme of things if you're going to need them every once in a while. Uh, equip those to your gear, and uh, then just run the mission and we'll, I'll show you where everything is. It should be pretty easy. Uh, there's a couple tricks in here that um, are not obvious, and... They don't really make super, super clear. Uh, so I'll go over all of them. Very fast is that. Okay. Yeah, I'll get to the vault and then we will we'll go from there. All right, so here we are at the entrance of the rescue area. So as we all know, on Zordies, the alerts immediately go off and going in through the front entrance, while it is totally doable and you can totally accomplish it in the time allotted, the 30 seconds is enough. That is the slower way to do this. So there are two shortcuts. I'll be showing where both of them are, uh, and I'll be using the most efficient one for whenever I enter, which will probably be the one that goes under everything, but we'll see what happens. And then obviously after I actually have the guy rescued, I'll show the other shortcut. Okay, so coming from here, left, downstairs. Doesn't matter if you touch this. That does sufficient damage, though, so I mean, I would advise against touching it. And then just go up here, and you're inside. You don't have to wait for the doors at all. And then you can hack a D's. Those turrets don't do much damage to Anaros, but I would suggest removing them if you are any other Warframe. That guy's blind. I'm just getting one of these last ones. Usually the third one I try. I have bad luck. Yep. So you can hear the target yell. And then that means that you've got the right one. Whenever they ask you to rescue them through the portal. Uh, whenever you hack it and you hear that is how you know it's the correct one. Uh, so pay close attention. Having music playing makes this very, very difficult. Uh, but let's show the other shortcut. So obviously we showed the lower shortcut, which comes out right there. Uh, and I'm not going to... You know, I'm just going to get rid of these because they're annoying me. And they might kill the target. Okay, so that's all destroyed. Uh, so we have this entrance here. Which we'll just go back through that again and show that one more time. Where that enters. Ah, da, da, da. Lips on walls. Excuse me. And I'll just get rid of the wardens. So we can have a nice relaxing thing here. Get rid, of, get rid of all these pesky enemies. Okay, so we have this bottom entrance, which is really straightforward, and there's also an upper entrance. If you come through this door, this is usually whenever you're blind. Wardens are very annoying. Okay, so if you come through this entrance, you can also look straight up, and then you have this entrance here. Uh, this one's a bit harder, especially if you're not like experienced with parkour at all. Um... And it's a little bit longer also. You'd probably be better suited going lower in a lot of cases, but that's also the upper entrance, which just comes through the ceiling there. So you've got the upper entrance, the lower entrance, and then, of course, you do have the front door. Uh, but even when you hack it from the inside, this takes forever, comparatively. Yeah, very slow doors. Uh, yeah. yeah, that takes mm, far too long. So that's, uh, that's how you do... This Lua thing here. So now we just got to get out of here. Uh, it's worth knowing. I have just been, obviously, showing you guys where all the shortcuts are. But if you're confident that you can get out of here within 30 seconds, because that's how long it takes um, the rescue target to die if they get instantaneously downed, you can just leave them behind. You don't have to, like, plot along and escort them. You can just peace. Uh, and they'll teleport along behind you as well. Uh, so I would very much suggest that you just fucking book it. Because they'll teleport away from danger in a lot of cases. Because you're going to outrun danger in a lot of cases. So, there's that. You see we're already at the exit. Not a big deal. And we're gone. Yeah, just leaving the rescue target behind. Advised. 
yeah, that's a uh, that's Lua's spy or not spy rescue. So I hope that uh, has helped you guys out. It's pretty simple, just like knowing where those shortcuts are. It's pretty important, especially if you're not super fast. Uh, the, sh the lower one is the one I would suggest in general, just because I think it's faster. Unless you're really, really squishy, uh, in which case, then maybe you go through the upper one, or just avoid the lasers. I would suggest maybe avoiding the lasers. You'll get it. You'll be fine. And then also, um, it's worth noting that the thing I didn't have to use, which is the air support charge, if you use the Lazette one, it gives you a 30 second extension on the amount of time you have to get them out of the vault, so you should have plenty of leeway if you bring the air support charges. But yeah. That's Lua Rescue, sorties, and uh, see you tomorrow. Hope this helps.